I've been uh, traveling going to bluegrass festivals. However, hey, I'm back home. So I need to finish the update on the electrical. This electrical is just taped up with, um, right now it's Gorilla Tape just to hold it up until I get my clips. But I wanted to find out how much run I needed, how much wire I needed. So I taped them all into place. This is 14 gauge wire. This is interior uh, house Romex. That's and it's uh, got a ground wire inside. It's insulated. It goes across to the front of my cabin, above above my bed area. Look at my little recess. So I'll have uh, I tuck the wire up inside there. This is the only place that I could get it wedged in there. I'll have I left a loop that I can tie in and mount the light there. They're little RV lights and run this across on this side and that will be where I will have a final uh, 12 volt plug. The run of wire comes across and it'll be the main light here and then there's a plug, a 12 volt plug that will be there above the kitchen sink which is one of these, a cigarette lighter, double. I got these at Walmart for a couple bucks each and they come with the uh, red and black wires and, a, and connecting pieces on them. So um, they'll get mounted up here to this particular wall stud. Most of the truckers kind of appliances that I found uh, at um, Pilot, this, the, when you go into Pilot uh, and the travel truck stops, they have like a, a whole section where you can go shopping in the back and they have toasters and little heat up ovens and things like that and they all plug into a 12 volt. It, each one says the rating of amps and uh, I have rigged all of my little plugs in such a way that they will all uh, work. So that will be all of my 12 volt electrical. So I have the wires coming down in a few different runs and then my batteries will be over there. He, this stud here is where my axle is down under here. So um, most of the weight of all my storage and whatever is to the front. I've got a lot of heavy tongue weight. I want to make some of my weight in the back, so that's why I chose to put the batteries back there. They're 65 pounds each. I'll have two of them, so that's a chunk of change. Then the inverter will go on the wall behind them, and that's also rather heavy. And then I'll build a little cabinet around those, and I'll drill through the wall to have a 30 amp feed come through if I ever need to hook up to an RV a site and then I'll just have a power strip here so I can I mean this is a small enough vehicle anything that I need to plug in I could run a cord so I'm not going to run any interior 110 voltage wiring I only wired for the 12 volt This is also something I recommend. I have a mark so that when they come down and go into the battery box and, and the fuse box and stuff, I will have everything marked. This says main light and sink. Then I have one that says peak window plug. And then the other one is the uh, front inner light and plug. I am carving a groove here in the insulation for these three wires which come down off the run. These will go right behind there. I already have it bent in and then tucked in with a piece of tape and then I'll need to tuck all of these into here 
and then right about here where they're going to come out I guess the batteries are going to be about that tall I'm not exactly sure but I know they're large and the inverter will be up here so that should be plenty of leeway so I'll drill a hole through the uh, panel that I have cut for that wall and I've marked a little tiny hole right there a little mark uh, which matches up with this height here. So these three wires I'm going to groove into there and put a, a tape to hold them in and then I'm going to install the panel. Okay, so I got my first piece of paneling in and then I hung my little candle holder above it. As you can see where the wires came down I drilled a hole right through there, pulled those wires through. Yeah, I think it came out really nice. I'm very, very pleased. 